Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'll be making a melted ice cream drip cake. At first glance, this cake looks like someone dropped an ice cream cone on top of it, and all the ice cream dripped down the sides. But in reality, there's zero ice cream in this cake. It's all white chocolate ganache. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The ingredients you'll need are four layers of funfetti cake, ice cream cones, white chocolate chips, heavy whipping cream, gel food coloring in pink and blue colors, and vanilla buttercream. In a medium bowl, add in your white chocolate chips. Then in a small saucepan, heat up your heavy whipping cream. When your cream comes to a simmer, take it off the heat and pour it over your white chocolate chips. Now let the ganache sit for two minutes and whisk it until it becomes smooth. After it's completely smooth, color your ganache with your pink food coloring. Now level your cake layers. Make sure to save the tops of your cakes because we'll need those for later. In a medium bowl, break up your cake into small crumbs. Once your cake is crumbled, spoon in some frosting and knead the two together with your hands until it forms a dough similar to the texture of cookie dough. Now I'm just filling up an ice cream cone with my frosting and cake mixture. Once your cone is filled up, stick a lollipop stick in the center. Then gather up the rest of your dough and form it into the shape of an ice cream scoop. Place your scoop on top of your ice cream cone and we'll move on to the next step. Before we assemble our cake, color 1 8 of your frosting blue. To assemble your cake, start off by spreading a dollop of frosting on top of a cake board. Then pop on your first layer of funfetti cake and top it with a swirl of vanilla buttercream. Now just pop on your second layer of cake and repeat the process with your third and fourth layers. Next, give your cake a crumb coat just to lock in any possible crumbs. Once your cake is crumb coated, put it in the freezer for 15 minutes or until it's firm to the touch. In addition to using an offset spatula, I'm also using a bench scraper to smooth my cake. Then give your cake a second layer of buttercream. This time, really make sure that your coat of frosting is completely smooth. With a small offset spatula, spread little dollops of blue frosting around the sides of your cake. Then, using a bench scraper, smooth out your blue buttercream dollops. Continue smoothing your frosting until you're happy with how it looks. Now that your cake is frosted, you can do your ganache drips. 
I put my ganache in a squeeze bottle just to make it super easy to get those perfect drips. After you've done your drips, you'll also want to add some ganache to the top of your cake. Then take your ice cream cone from earlier and cover it in chocolate ganache. Now just stick down some more ganache on the center of the cake and place on your ice cream cone. Lastly, fill in any gaps between the ice cream scoop and the cake with more ganache. Then just toss some sprinkles on your cake and you're done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more cakes like this, and comment below what cake you want me to make next. Thanks for watching!